Hey everyone, how you doing today? I thought I'd uh, continue working on this Legacy Combat CV for uh, Reforged Eden 2. So, in the last video, uh, more of the hall was done, uh, kind of connecting the uh, first kind of three chunks together and a little bit more block work and uh, finishing that off. Um, what I wanted to do this time is to take a good look at these extensions coming off from the ship, both in the front and rear, and possibly try to get some more uh, block work done and try to uh, figure out the uh, thruster assembly that's going to go on here yet too. So this is just kind of temporary placeholder stuff at the moment. But uh, I wanted to start out here with these front like wings or extensions and uh, then kind of move on to the back ones as well. Uh, so what I don't like about them is, well, they don't look great. Um, that's number one. And number two, I, I really hate the fact that this turret is kind of in the front of the thruster in the back and it's really bugging me so what i'm gonna do is uh i think try something else but i like the idea of having uh, some turrets in those positions there so let me uh, set up symmetry real quick here and um all right i do i was thinking the turrets could actually go lower than where they are right now though so i'm gonna get rid of what is here for now and just kind of start over on it um, again, when I was kind of laying this out originally, this was just like a quick thing to do to kind of say, hey, I want some turrets there. And uh, that was kind of part of the design, but it just, yeah, got to find a better way to do it. Same idea, though. Have turrets off the side of the hull there. Uh, even removing that probably looks better already <laughs> right now. So, all right. What I'd like to do is... Um, Man, it's going to be a little bit tricky to figure out here. Kind of wondering if I could uh, maybe set up some blocks that come off from this part, but kind of angled down like it's connected up here, and then display or put a couple turrets down over in this location below where that thruster is. So I'm going to try this approach. I don't know if it's going to work yet or not. It's kind of uh, experimental here. So what I want to do is make it look like this piece is like bending out or folding out from the uh, the ship here. And it looks like it starts like right there. So here, let's go back to uh, carbon. And I'll put a couple blocks in there. So this would be the, uh, yeah, that would be the general width of it. Um, so at the top... I kind of want to make it look like it's uh, going down at a angle. I'm not sure what angle yet, though. And I kind of like this uh, little bit of a lip up above there, too. That might, uh, might change some of those blocks around so it'll work a little bit better. So let's do that there. And um, let's get the, uh, this one out here in a minute. I'll just do them on the edges for now. And then on the bottom side, okay, so if something came up there, yeah, it looks like that would work at this height. Again, this, I really don't know how this is going to turn out. Um, not a big fan of using full blocks here. Let's, uh, for the heck of it, let's just try some uh, round pieces here a minute. And then build uh, a bit of a platform out over here. Something that can have uh, turrets on both the top and bottom side of it. Alright, I don't want it to go too far out either. But I think that, that should work. Okay, so let's put some uh, full blocks here a minute. Let's say we had a turret in that position, on top of that block, and on the bottom. Just kind of uh, see what that would look like. Yeah, I don't know yet. <laughs> Just to be honest, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Um, all right, so here, 
we could uh, we could uh, bend this in. Let's try to do that. Maybe something like that. Could even try to put in something else here. Also, uh, yeah, as in the uh, the block material. Again, if you haven't been watching the. Uh, the, the, the past videos, uh, I'm doing a lot of things in carbon right now. A lot of these blocks are going to change to, or probably most of them are going to change to something else. I might just uh, mass kind of replace most blocks with steel and then upgrade from there as well. So I don't know exactly yet how that's all going to work out. But uh, hopefully it should be all right. Oh, did I do that wrong? I did that wrong. This side has to go there and then there. And we'll put that block in the center. And then, okay, so now we've got that. Nah. Not great yet. I just think, uh, I'm just looking for uh, more opportunities for more turrets on the ship here. What can be done with this? Alright, so... Let's build the uh, the bottom part of the, this gun out. Um, I think I know how I want to go about this here. If I had blocks like that there, and then uh, could we make it? Um, I wonder how it would look if I use try to match that same angle below it. Like that. And then uh, the alternative one here. And here. Uh, let's put in one of these so we can get that little uh, angled piece underneath there. And I don't know if this I don't know if this whole approach is going to work out though. Here, let's uh, do one other thing here in a minute. Let me uh, set the uh, colors. I think I'm just doing this in gray right now. Yeah. I could do that same kind of thing on the bottom side. Again, I don't know if I like this or not, though. Here. Yeah. Do that. It's all an experiment in here. They're no longer wings, but I can't say I'm really liking it yet. Um, I guess what I don't like is how this round's kind of going into this square, squarish looking uh, thing there. Well, okay, let's, uh, let's try doing something a little bit different with this. What happens if these just kind of went right in to the hall? We can even do uh, one of these here so it kind of matches up there. Now maybe they're just too far outward. They are nicely tucked underneath the thrusters, which is all right, but... Eh. Here, what if... Um, Change some of this around a little bit. That works. 
work if I did like that on that side. Oops, yeah, something like that. Those two. Could add in another block row here. Makes it look a little uh, stronger, I guess. Could also uh, try to go with some double thins in these areas. Oh, uh, you know, well, I guess I don't really care too much, but yeah, it was uh, just uh, dawned on me too that it's starting to kind of interfere with some of the directions of like that front turret there. All right, let's try let's try some other different block here. There are some uh, some big like round pieces and stuff like that now of uh, some of these newer parts. Just kind of curious if one of them could work out for this. Ah, uh, nah, I don't like that. I think it's getting a little too a little too roundy there. Or maybe I take this whole thing. There's no reason necessarily it has to stick out so far. Maybe it could uh, come back in a, uh, a notch here. So, let's try that. These are the kinds of things, man, you can really mess with for a long time until you, you're happy with something. And this is one of those things I'm a little, was a little bit worried about. As I really wanted turrets here, and I didn't really know of a good way to put them there to look good. And basically have them there. So the idea now would be to grab that, we'll cut it, and paste it, and just dump it in one more block closer. So now I could tighten this up pretty easily too, and not have the turrets as, uh, as up on the top, or not as high on the top and bottom. But then I'd put them closer together, which would make them a little bit more vulnerable to getting blown up. I think it would look better, though. Here, we'll uh, we'll keep that. Let me go to the other side and do the same thing. So it's everything's identical right now. block here again. Alright, so let's shave these blocks out of there. I'm wondering if I shouldn't try to change the angle here. That could be done too. Um, basically, going with something like that instead, going with a 45 right to that point. And on these inside blocks here, we can put in some of these so we don't have that square block in the middle. Got, we can add blocks there too, but what does the overall shape look like? Kind of weird. Kind of just strange, I think. Hmm. Alright. Um, 
Here, I'm going to undo what I just did with the uh, 45s and put it back to the 22 fives here. I think that would have done them all. Yeah. All right, so another plan. Let's get rid of the this uh, these pedestals here. And let's stick a turret. Maybe there. That looks so much better if I just had it uh, thinner like that. But then... Maybe not have a turret on the bottom side. Here, let me get rid of all this. And I kind of wanted one there, but these turrets are really meant to shoot at... The bad guy ship. Uh, <laughs> so, um... Uh, mm, that looks so much better being thinner like that, I think. Than being separated how I had it. Alright, let's put some more blocks in here and see how this is going to work out. I don't know if I want to go with uh, necessarily that block. Could do the double thins of it. Well, let's try it and see what happens. sturdy okay so maybe these just have to be the straight up pieces like this I like the general mounting bracket better than what was there, and of course, I like the fact that they're out of the way of the um, thrusters in the back. So I think that's kind of a win, but as in how they look there, it's kind of a smaller um, part now, which maybe is going to be fine. I guess it, uh, that's going to depend a lot on how it ties into the back. Let's try to clean this up a little bit more and do something with this, uh, the blocks here. And again, I try, uh, the idea is to try to make these look a little bit like hinges. Um, I'm going to see if uh, another round block would like, work here or not. Do something like that and then uh, maybe something not round in the middle. Well, I really want to go crazy. I could um, do like an inverted part like that. But I don't know if that's I'm getting a little bit too much curvy action on the ship or not. I'm trying to get that blend between uh, a lot of rigid and then some curves in the mix. That's not so bad there. Maybe if there was another part there. This whole, uh, this whole line right here, this could actually be a little bit more interesting now, too, because the, the guns came down. They're no longer building off from this part. So, this looks a little funky here anyway. So, here, let's, uh, let's change this part. And, um, kind of extend that out to that point instead. And there's something else that could be done here. Because this whole angle here could be uh, just kind of moved in like that.
trying to keep this line intact so you got some kind of like body line there uh, thing is is the blocks I've got here now could change as well maybe to an angled version you get kind of a weird triangle there nah I don't like that either uh, what if it went to maybe something like that well, that might work. It's not going to look right at the front, though, because I won't have to do the angle. Unless it just kind of goes like that. Huh. What if... I don't think there's any way that would work. I was thinking about putting up uh, like one of, well, probably not that one. Something like that there, but then that kind of goes up against the edge and doesn't really look like a frame support. But what if it was like that? No, that one look right. Ah, that's bad. Alright, so I'll do some of this. I'll tell you what, I'll get back to that in a little bit. If I uh, get an epiphany or something, maybe uh, something will... Uh, I'll think about something. Uh, uh, one other thing, though. I'm going to try something... Just thought of something else I could really try there that's kind of bizarre, but it might, it might work in this case. That is to uh, try to run some of these in. I don't know, except they're going to kind of like stick out over the edge a little bit. Hmm. Nah. And that too. So maybe the. Okay. Let's try something different here. Try to go with uh, double 45s here. Oh, that's going to leave a hole in the center, but I'm okay with that actually. I'm just trying to. I thought it just felt like I had too much round round action going on in there. And the inside box here could be just kind of filled in. This would be, obviously be like a lot of armored blocks and stuff in this area. Eh, it's hard to see it from a distance with any kind of light. All right. Let's um, move over to the back ones. Now, the back ones can stay at their general height that they're at, I think. Um, however, I'm almost thinking the whole platform might work out better, maybe, if it uh, was uh, coming out from the center of the thruster here or the center point here and not where it's uh, actually coming out from. Yeah, alright, so we're going to get rid of some of these big guns for now. And start building this piece again. Okay, yeah, let's just get rid of what's here. I don't think I'm going to keep any part of it here. It was kind of uh, just a lot of placeholder stuff. There is a faster way to mass delete stuff. Um, well, I don't know in this case if it would be faster. I could go into the uh, end key tool and uh, just select the whole area and delete it at once, but I don't think that would save much time there. All right. So, what I'm going to try to do is build out something. I'm, first, I wanted to square this area off so it's kind of centered and then take a look at it and try to build some mounting brackets that would come out and put this stuff in place. Kind of similar to maybe how it was done down over there, but let's use some um, 
just use some wider, like, partially round connection beams. Maybe, uh, like a couple of these. Yeah, okay, so that can come out. I don't, it doesn't have to come out a long ways. wonder if I should go one more clock row with it, though. Yeah, why not? Let's try that. Okay, and then we're going to have our mount piece here. I guess we'll put in some full blocks here for the moment. Could even try to... Um, No, oh, somehow I missed this gun. Alright, so placeholders again. Here's the big one. Now the big one, according to what I, uh, uh in comments and things, the, uh, there's two models for these, uh, uh, plasma cannons. Um, there's the, uh, the main plasma cannon. Now this one has less hit points, uh, I guess, 45,000. Versus 60,000. So about 15,000 less hit points, but it takes up less room. So this one has more hit points, but obviously is bigger. So I'm going to try to go with the big ones uh, on the top and bottom here. If I can uh, figure out how they should be mounted. Let's see, that would be kind of the center position there. Just Oh, but not... Yeah, it needs to come up a block too. So let's put in something like that, top and bottom. Is that right? No. Hard to see these. So that position. doesn't have a specific center point. I think it's uh, even number here. But that could work. Alright. Um... Now, the end ones, I was still thinking about trying to run three heavies of the same type. I mean, for your maximum firepower and all that, all that fun stuff. Um, here, let's, um, let's do something here. I'm going to try to get an angled block that can also have a bit of a lip on the front there. So, something like that. Let's try the same thing on the back. locations or or oh well that's weird actually yeah this is actually three by three and it's kind of fitting on the two by two area right now so it's a bit of a problem what if um, these center blocks here these it's kind of weird how these fit they uh, kind of overlap the uh, the other blocks which is kind of cool in a way so I could like put in something like this here. Oh, uh, it doesn't look like they fully quite fit right though. And that's weird. They yeah, they don't really quite center to like a three box setup there, kind of uh fit inside of it. But that still I think looks better. And we'd want that there. Yeah. Really weird. Right there. Do that to the outside here too. All right. 
right, so we kind of want to do that to the top one. Um, take that out another. I don't know, maybe it's the, the, the double here. Let me try to, um... Let's try a, an experiment. See what... How that would look like lined up to it. I don't think it... Like, or a double. Eh... flare out there kind of coming into a weird roundy thing I don't like these uh, blocks I put in there no what if these were eh, see they look bad square too I'm liking the changes that were made there. Now these look kind of weird and dorky on the side here, too. I wonder if I can uh, make this look tougher. Or let's get, say we get rid of the insides. And how about right over it? Yes. Oh man, is there any way this could even work? trying to change the uh, the configuration here a little bit to try to uh, get it to look uh, stronger kind of looks uh, kind of weak again of course I'll do it on the bottom side too if I can I like the front, the top side at least. What if, um. Oops. Try something weird or get in an angled part.
exactly. Definitely different. A lot easier if I didn't have any of these extensions. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's a lot of places for guns. Um, plus, I need the back ones. The front ones, I don't know. Maybe I could like put them on the hall somewhere else. But at least they're not so big and obnoxious. But these got to be big on the back. Yeah, let's get rid of that. That just doesn't look good either. Um, here, put that in. I don't know if I like that thing I did here with the uh, angle in the end. It was kind of out of place with the rest of the uh, stuff going on, I think. What if it did something different here? Like... We did a line like that. It's kind of open air there. Again, just trying to look like it's uh, running these guns out that direction and holding them there. Uh, hopefully, but I did want it to look like it's fairly, fairly strong. Uh, and we don't have a center position either. That's why I kind of I'm separating them like that. The guns are actually are centered though. They are a three by three pedestal. But my pedestal's off. But uh, yeah, one of the things I'm not 100% sure I like the uh, position that I raised them up so they're centered with this piece. If I like that in conjunction with the uh, the lower ones on the front now. I mean, it, I think it'll work. I mean, fine for... Uh, in-game combat and stuff like that, but uh, it's more of a visual thing again. Alright, so one other thing I want to see is um, if I can still mount up a gun, the alternative model version, which will fire on the same uh, fire thing, and put that like way out. Uh, let's Right, go back. Go back one more. Arr, there you go. I mean, it's a lot of firepower back there. If you can avoid, if uh, if you can get the AI to keep on shooting up at the front of the ship, these will have free reign to uh, blast pretty much everything. After the shields are down, of course. See, now one way to do it, 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 you'd go through more ammo, of course. I'm sure the ammo for these guns isn't super cheap. But, I mean, I could have, like, a lot of these uh, being, like, laser turrets uh, near the front or even this, this middle bank and things like that. Um, and while those are firing, taking down the shield, plasma also does shield damage. And if you're firing six heavies uh, in conjunction with the lasers that are also firing, uh, or the laser turrets... Um, you might be able to take the shields down fairly quickly that way. Again, you're going to waste some ammo over here. Um, and then as soon as the shields are down, you can just kind of land basically uh, the hull of the enemy creation. At least that's the idea. Uh, again, I would need uh, some good testing before I uh, know if this strategy would actually work or not. It sounds like it could work, maybe. Alright, so let's just say I kind of run it like this and let's... Um, just trying to make this pedestal area look better here. I don't like this flat wall here, though. It just is so boring. I thought about beveling it one way or the other, but then, you know, it's only one block in the middle, and you and you got stuff that's uniform on the top and bottom, and, and there's no way to really make that work. Uh, if you got some bevel in there, it'll be leaning towards one side or the other. 
So here I wanted to uh, maybe maybe I'll put in one of these blocks again, and like that position, and maybe even the one. Oops. Maybe even the one below it. Here. Yeah, that's how we'd kind of connect that other gun. It kind of looks alright from the top down. It looks like it's sort of centered to its main part there. So if that doesn't work super well right here. Actually, let's, uh, let's try to put in these here. We can get away with this here. So we got a uh, 22.5 on the back and a 45 on the front. Nothing says it has to be uh, uniform, though. The front and back. We are missing a block here, too. Um, what here? Let's go with uh, something different here. Maybe that. And it could add in, uh, I don't know if you see it very much, but a little texture light there, too. Now, we're not doing that on the bottom side at all right now. going to like that block, but after i seen it there, it kind of has a weird angle to it uh, that doesn't fit with that part very well. part here again maybe could uh, be just a good old school pipe don't like that square edge inside of here though that that block right there there's another option a weird one, but you could use this, which has a top and bottom and sidewalls to it. Which it could go in something like that. Give it a really rigid um, general look. <coughs> Excuse me. I mean, once uh, a lot of that stuff gets painted up, if it's painted, uh, I don't know, depending on the, the colors and everything like that, it could look kind of all right because you got a lot of uh, individual surfaces to uh, to work with there. I definitely think I like it better than what I got going on the front side right now. So let's, um, let's fix this up here too. Yeah, after I get through the uh, the hurdle of this part, the next part is going to be kind of moving on to the uh, the thruster assembly in the back, I believe. Um, and uh, now in comments, too, it was suggested that 
I have more um, or potentially more thruster positions as well on the build and I'm thinking about that a little bit is that what I did back there? No, I just used a full. Oh. And then it went squared in here. Okay. Um, let's get rid of that. Let's try to build something, I don't know, new here. I wonder if I shouldn't embrace some kind of uh, angular, angular blocks here. I could, whoops. Get away with that. If I went something like that. So what happened. Yes. It would be smoother going this this route on the front and back. Probably look a little bit beefier. Maybe just do that on the front side. All right, let's keep on trying to get these pipes in here, but uh, I wonder if that would look right like that. lose that again for now and I don't know I kind of want to angle the backs out kind of like what I did with the front here too now so that would be at that position that position So that doesn't really work with that stuff in here now. Could I do that on this side? 
And I just sort of ended it, and then I put that in place. I guess it doesn't have to be the same on the front or back though. But this part here is a little weird, almost like where I got it to. Um, if I keep that, that thin block there, then I kind of want to make the angle work on the back side of this as well. And I don't mind having the front and back different, really, at all. I think it'll probably actually look better if I did. I can set up a little bit of an illusion in here. By trying to make some cross beams that look like they kind of connect too. But it would have to be done something like this. But that doesn't quite center because it's not the whole thing isn't quite centered. Or Maybe I will we'll put these back in. Trim pieces there. And you know what? In the center, we can swap that to this block. be flush then. Okay, so inside here, I'm wondering if that should be left open like that too to get that double line in there. And uh, maybe put uh, some half blocks or something in, inside of here. You're not going to see this very much. Uh, just trying to get that like framework look to it a little bit here. All right, one last test. Don't know if I'm gonna like this or not, but I wanted to try to get rid of those. Pop in. These. I do like this block. It's one of the unique blocks that actually kind of rounds off on the center like that. And there's not very many uh, blocks or anything like that in the game, really. but at the same time I'm not 100% sure on that. Obviously it doesn't work with this piece here very well at all. And there's no block below it. I didn't even notice that the yeah, those side things aren't lined up to anything now. So that whole rose oops, gosh darn it. The whole row's kind of out of place now. Which plus box is fine. Alright, so here we can do one other thing. We can try to put 
that this piece in instead. I don't know if that's going to look better or not, though. It fits and makes this angle work, but I don't know if I like it better. Let me know what you think in comments too on some of these changes uh, with the wings and stuff like that. Um, I might hold off on that part and try to move into this uh, back uh, thruster assembly at this point. I'll keep on looking at that. It's it's possible it changes again, definitely. Um, so I don't I don't know. Just trying to come up with a way to get throw a lot of guns out there away from the side of the ship and try to make it look right. And at the same time, it looks kind of crazy what's going on. Like, I kind of like the base uh, general aesthetics of the ship, especially when I didn't try to do some of this other crazy stuff over here. Um, I'm all right with it. But at the end of the day, I really want this to be an effective, hopefully an effective uh, legacy combat ship. Um, and I want the firepower. And that means I got to put a lot of big guns on it to make that happen. All right. Well, anyway, let's uh, let's get into this back area here a second. All right. So here, let's. Um, I don't know if I want to have that so far. Well, I kind of do proportionally wise. I was thinking about moving the uh, the thruster housing or this whole area here closer to the front. Nah. Well, we'll see how it works. I can uh, move things around after the fact. Okay, so this piece, I wanted to make it look separated regardless. So what I'm going to do is use something like that, I think. So you got that half block uh, ridge line there. Let's add in a little uh, something for a future texture light on the sides here. Like that. So then we can get a texture light. Nah, let's go in one more block with it. So then, here I'll just uh, make sure I know where that is. Okay. Oh, now it's painting them all that color. I started it. Arr. Sometimes I don't want it to do that. Yeah, I don't want it to do that right here. Um, I think... I don't know of another way to do this. To clear it. Uh, basically, <laughs> unequip the blocks and re-equip the blocks. And then it stops painting them. There might be a, a, a key or some other thing that I don't know about that does that. I don't, I don't know. Right at this moment here. Here, let's just do that for now. And uh, actually, this whole area here, Oh, yes, and I, I do have to think about a landing pad and that kind of thing, too, coming in here. Okay, so, yeah, let's let's, let's get this landing pad figured out. Um, I think, and I want to, if it'll work or not, recess the landing pad down one block, or do I want to do that? Uh, maybe not. 
It might look better with the thruster, housers, uh, thruster housings later, though. May uh, experiment with that in a second. So let's take out that row of blocks. And what we're going to do here in its place is, you know, a landing pad could be at a half block height as well. Um, it's not a repair bay. So I don't plan on putting a repair bay on this ship. But CPU is going to be needed for combat stuff. So I could do something like this. And that would kind of uh, recess the landing pad in a half block. I just gotta make sure that you got a way into the ship as well. And I think that would be I don't know, how big of a landing pad would that be? Let me uh just check out like uh I don't know, some utility. How about how about that newer scarab? Be like if I was going to bring a ship around with me using this, it would probably be this uh, Scarab HG-1. And why don't I see it? Oh, it's on the top. That's why. So, oh, okay, that totally fits there. You could fit quite a bit bigger. Something or other there, actually a couple of these. Okay, so no problem with fitting. Just wanted to see how that was going to work out. Okay, so let's just say we're going to have um, a door here on the front. And it's going to go down into the hull of the ship. Okay, just figure out how that's going to work out. It could be an angle door. That's a little rough. All right. Uh, okay. Let's just say that those here. Let's just get the landing pad in place here. And we could do some things here with the angling of the landing pad as well. On the back. A little bit, maybe. Try some 22 fives here. there a minute oh yeah and this is sort of yeah uh, those turrets actually aren't even fitting over here but I won't want the landing pad any skinnier than what it is right now so here on the sides let's try to do the same kind of thing that was done with the other turrets this might look dumb though. Ah, let's get a little definition in here. It's almost like I don't like this top row here. So let's uh, give it a little lip there with uh, this version. Still didn't solve the uh, getting into the ship thing, but um, if it 
went down about there. I'm going to say here, let me get a door part. Top here. Let's do, uh, let's do like a thin block layer here. It doesn't work here. And okay, so it's gonna have to come down immediately as soon as you walk in. Let's get a staircase piece. down below there to make sure it's uh, airtight. I don't know exactly what's going on behind it yet, but um, I mean, that would except for this part work, but this could actually then be like that. So, alright, let's swap out a block here to this version then. We'll have like a, a line going through the middle of it here. And these can be folds. Or actually just halves, I guess. figure out how this uh, side piece is going to work here. How about... Just went like that. Let's paint this in again. Actually, use those to make some little uh, lines in there too. Okay, and then what if that was? Kind of working. All right, so here, um, I'm gonna do some other things here in a minute. 
the trim. I'm going to put in a lot more of this type of lock, I think, right now. And probably not as far back either. Got to make some cool looking um, things around the thrusters. It's important. It's just trying to get those uh, the thrusters on the back of the ship. Um, always a challenge, but it uh, can look good if you get it right. Here, let's do this front row all in that type. And I'm going to do a row like that right behind this thruster. And then let's get rid of those and go back to this version. Alright. See, the, the design originally called for four forward thrusters. Um, like one in each corner. And I uh, instead decided to put in two of the uh, drive thrusters instead of the four smaller thrusters that were there originally which I just think it was going to be more efficient this way problem is is this back piece was designed for a four thruster setup not a two more that's that that was the intent I don't know if it was designed for that but so we can do something like that there we can put in a lot of this thin stuff around there, connect those lines, and I blew through another thousand blocks, <laughs> and that's kind of why I didn't had do it, like, I started this in hardened steel, and I was told, no, don't do that, um, because, I mean, it takes so many blocks to build one of these, it almost looks like it would have another insert spot here for another big, uh, strafing thruster, though, up on that. I wonder if I should radically change the whole thruster design, though. Um, I could technically put the other strafing thruster in that spot, I think. And then adjust it so it's not a like a hexagon diamond shape in the back and do something with this. But, yeah, let's just work on the top ones here. Again, this looks kind of bad, too, where these turrets are, but I like the... I like where they're placed. I think that's a good, you know, to cover the backside of the ship. Um, just out of the way of the landing pad. Not a bad spot for turrets. Now, what I would love to be able to do that I don't think the game uh, allows you to do is to do this kind of inverted angle that would kind of, like, match those blocks and angle up, I don't know, that way or the other way. Um... This part's going to be a little bit of a challenge to figure out here. But the blocks that I've got here now can be altered. In fact, I, I think I'm going to around the thruster. Let's go with uh, these. So we can put one in that way, in that position, flip it around here. So then that part matches, and this part should also match. Uh, except it doesn't need to go that far up. Never mind. Hmm. Okay, so that would just need another one of these. That might all work, though. Thruster housing was like that. Get a little depth in there, I guess. bottom here too. This, and this would be a, a full block there. And probably a full block there. I think it was that one. And then we flip it on this row. 
that one. Trying to get those little line detail things in there. I um, One thing I have learned over time, too, when you're building stuff, sometimes you can have like something that's really big and very smooth where you don't see a lot of stuff going on it. And if you can just add in something with uh, like high high detail or a little line in it, uh, it'll make the whole thing look like uh, from like really not detailed at all to make it the whole thing look detailed because you got that little bit of fine detail in the mix there. Um, and that's kind of what I'm trying to do with a lot of these uh, variations in lines, like a little line here and stuff going in there. It's a pretty solid area where there's not a lot going on, but you can if you can get some fine detail parts into it, it will uh, lose that effect and kind of, again, look detailed, um, even though it's generally pretty basic. You know, out the back, too, I did this angle on the inside here, and to be honest, the more I look at it, the, I don't like it. It's like, I almost think it would look better not done that way. Here, um, let's do another texture light. I love this block for the, uh, the, the texture light thing. I really do. I think it's my new favorite texture light block. So we could do something like that there too, which would give us some neat texture lights. But I'm squaring this off for now. And when you come up to the landing pad, yeah, that should look kind of neat. I don't know if I want three or not, though, but could always get rid of the center one. And there's all kinds of little other trim things that could be done in here yet, too, in places. Right now, I'm kind of not really quite liking what I got going on with that those uh, turrets back there, though. All right, more on the thruster housing, and uh, you know, and often too when building. I mean, if you do not like the first thing you're doing, um, just often if you keep working it, you know, change this, look at it in a different light, or even take you know sleep for the day, <laughs> wake up the next day, and you might have another idea in your head. Uh, and then you can kind of, and don't be uh, scared to rework things that you've already built. Um, literally do that all the time. And I'm sure even what I got going, even on the front end here and stuff, there's going to be more reworks to it before it's, um, you know, ready to uh, use and release and things like that. So here, what happens if I pull that up a little bit on the bottom side? Could actually kind of work. Alright, so the inside of the thruster area. Um, let's get some weird block spacer. I'll have to figure that out later. Kind of curious. Um, what would happen if I try to angle this up again? Would that look wonky like the thruster is out of position? Kind of does, doesn't it? Yeah. Alright. I'm going to try um some of these here. Going up like that. Let's see what that does for it. I guess. I don't know if that should be a full block or just uh, this double there. 
Now, if I had more thrusters back there, um, and there was another thruster housing on the other side, um, that would actually kind of work. And I could uh, kind of angle it the opposite direction over there. But, again, four four drive thrusters. Don't think the ship's going to need that. At least I hope it doesn't. Alright, I'm going to try some things with angles again and uh, try to see if there's a way to make this like tie in differently. Wrap that row completely. And... Something looks wrong here. Oh yeah, this piece is supposed to be... That. Then we could... Take another thin block and run it across here. something like that except for there yeah you know actually this whole block row is kind of not right now put in a full block here and then hmm I'm going to try half block here on this side and then one of these to make that mesh into it different on top and bottom again all right so that line of blocks is out.
Just kind of wondering if there's something that could fit here and look all right. Uh, I think the only block that could work is this one, maybe. Yeah, like that. Oh, you know, the problem is I can't put the, uh, the little corner pieces in there on the inside there. Kind of screws up the body line on the outside too, or this this part here. So, uh, what would it look like if I just put that back in place? I guess I'm. I think I might have to. I'll get rid of that again. I think, I think that's a whole block position though. So. Could add in a little deco thingy right there. Alright, so this bottom row is supposed to be these blocks too. how that's working out actually if we had those there and then oh I just grab that could do something like this and I could even add in some extra little detaily thingies on the outside, kind of run across like that. With that kind of little fine detail uh, body lines in there, and could actually uh, embrace some more of these little like rivet joint thingies here too. Let's get these on the bottom. Kind of a yeah, big big plain area, small area of fine detail. Don't like this. And maybe these uh, maybe these turrets will get pushed back in too. How does that look body wise though? I guess it's not quite as long back here now. All right, let's mess with these blocks here. I got an idea. Uh, I think we're going to have to go old school 45, though, for this idea. Um, and 45 is pretty powerful, too. There are some, uh, especially building that space station recently, I kind of learned some things with 45-degree uh, blocks. Um, I'm adding some, some fine detail in certain areas and stuff like that. Um, they're not so bad, actually. I'm going to try to cut in a little bit more with this. Yeah, I get that, that landing pad is looking awful right now uh, with those turrets over here. I don't know if I like uh, some of the changes I made back here either. That angle line there, yeah, I don't like that either. Oh. All right, yeah, let's get rid of that. That's just it's bugging me too much. Find a different way to do turrets. Maybe on the underside, the lower part of this. Uh, 
that was the case, should I, um, here, let's get rid of that row. I'm going to try again 22.5, though. Now, one other thing that could take place, too, but I was trying to keep this formation intact, is I could try to move forward the, uh, the doorway going in on the inside and then maybe make the landing pad not stick out as much. Now, let's try to work out this other part of the ship right over here yet. It's one of those things that definitely needs to be done. Um, I'm wondering if I shouldn't try to do a big roundy thing here. See how that will work out. So we got. Oh, but this goes on a four block, not a three block. Also, oh, it's never gonna. It's never gonna center right. If I try the, If I try to use the big round curve. All right. Never mind on that. I want to do something here. Or almost leave it like cut out completely. Maybe that's the best best bet. Not to build that out, but to just to kind of square it off here. Let's try that. So... Maybe add some detail onto it. Oh, there. There's three blocks. You know, and that doesn't even like line up to this other piece. Not the way I just did it, at least. back into here and back over here um, let's try to do a line oh I can oh I can only do that at 45 here I wonder if that'll work let's do something like this Take it a little bit. No, oh, this is a strange looking ship. It could look nice if I wasn't trying to do so much stuff with the thrusters and turrets and things, but, um, I guess, it, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I might have to, like, sit back and think on this a little bit some more. Figure out where to go from here. Or change some things around again, but, um... I 
That is some really, really, really big butt on it here. Kind of reminds me of that MCRN258 that I did, that which has a back end that was really big, like that. Um, I'd like to actually like shave it down so it's not so so bulky back here. And of course, yeah, I lost my top turrets here too, but I think the idea that I had, at least at that time, would be to take the turrets that were on top, let me grab one, and put them instead on the bottom side, like maybe like there or something. So then they're not kind of up in your way if you're landing and uh, whatnot. Now there is uh, another potential uh, turret positions up here on the low, like the bridge. Let's fill in some of that a second. Oh, guess I lost my turret. All right. Could have something going on like that. Obviously, I could build another mount or uh, the blocks for that there, so it could have like something like backside top coverage, backside bottom coverage, and then also sneak in a yeah, it's got another turret down over here. Uh, again, a lot of drone stuff, and the turrets that would be uh, most focused on the POI would be like these uh, four down here, that one, and probably most of these, and uh, probably not the bottom one down there either. Now, a lot of those I was planning on having as laser turrets. I don't know if I'm going to embrace rockets on this one at all. Or, well, again, you know, it's not going to come with the with the guns anyway, so who knows, you know, how people are going to set it up or how I, how I even set it up in game. But my, my idea would be if I had, like, quite a lot of laser turrets to get the shields down. And, again, I don't know how bad the legacy shields are. Um... And then, um, as these laser turrets are shooting at the shields, I could also use the primary weapons, the plasma, which also hurt the shield some. Not quite as much as the lasers, but they do do an impact on it. And just, um, and after the, the, the shields fall on the enemy sh ship, just keep shooting it. I don't even have to change weapons. Um, and that would be kind of neat. No, uh, hassling around, uh. Not that it's that difficult or anything like that, but I'm just saying you wouldn't have to do it if it's set up that way. I'm kind of wondering now, too, that I did all this back here, and I'm kind of wondering if maybe they weren't aligned to the thruster and this whole mechanism was kind of pushed down, kind of like it is on the front side. Would that balance out things and look a little bit better? Uh, now, another idea, too, and what I would like to do... Um, but then I don't know where to put these other guns. Maybe I find a new home for these, uh, smaller ones. Um, I would actually like to build, like, a, uh, big plate armor angular thing that goes over the edges here and kind of protects these turrets from side impacts and maybe even angle that stuff up around them a little bit. I think that, uh, that might be up to work. It's a lot of planning and stuff like that. I'm trying to get a, uh, at least a ballpark idea on how much interior space I have. Well, usable interior space. Um, and it kind of looks like there's a, quite a bit of room underneath the bridge section here. And obviously, um, I'm not going to be using anything up there at all. And probably nothing up until maybe after this, this thruster. So this would be kind of like uh, the interior space. This would be Areas needed to hold uh, the generators, the shield parts, the all the other stuff. Um, might have, again, a small production area on it. No farm. No farm at all on this. Um, and again, it's, it's almost like it's got enough room for a hangar in here. But I didn't really want one on here. Is the thing. And I still didn't really address, like, putting in more thrusters yet, either. 
But uh, anyway, I think I'll stop there. Uh, this video is probably been going on a little bit here. I want to just kind of think about things and study things a little bit more and try to see if uh, come up with some alternative ideas on how to go about some of this stuff. Great thing about building with voxels like this, though, is you can do very fast iterations of changing things around. So, I mean, as soon as you get that idea in your head, it's just like, yeah, you can do it. You can effectively do it pretty quickly. Um, a lot faster than a, like a modeler could with like a 3D uh, program or something like that. Uh, there's a block screw up there. But, uh, yeah. Um, ah. Interesting. Didn't know what I was going to come up with when I started this design. Now, the, the, the ship that I uh, first mentioned that I seen from the X4 video game, um, it's not really much like this anymore. I mean, that other ship was bigger and didn't have all these extensions and flare outs and gigantic guns and stuff on it so, um and it was probably about 20 times the size so i mean it was just a ballpark idea i was looking at the big shapes on it trying to trying to make this work and i kind of like this in in some regards i think it's kind of flowing a little bit i just want to make sure it, it stays nice and dialed in um on this back part here because it does kind of widen up on this uh angle here i'm thinking like back over here would be a really awesome place for a big landing gear setup and then maybe have another additional landing gear, you know, somewhere up here. Um, but I think that part would kind of work out. It kind of does look like some kind of combat cruiser thing. Again, these these uh, side guns here, though, I'm kind of wondering if I could plant them in the hull, maybe somewhere like in this general location. No, but then those are in front of it. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of want to lose these side side pieces and put a big, uh, big old plate, like hopefully cool looking, like big steel plate that kind of goes over the sides. I think that would look all right. And I'm still undecided on these uh, on these lower turrets. I want a position there, but I didn't want them quite as close together as they are right now. Maybe if I use some really tough blocks in between the two turrets, um, they'll be all right. And like this top one could take a a hit without getting splash damage to the bottom one at the same time that would be kind of the uh, the goal that's why I was trying to separate these uh, turrets more that's kind of why I'm doing the same thing with these turrets uh, these uh, big guns back here as I, I'm trying to keep them further apart for splash damage um, however I don't necessarily think it looks better that way in fact it probably is quite the opposite it probably doesn't look as good this way but um, Trying to keep them a little safer. It is a big chunk of change for these things. Don't want to lose them. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'll stop right there. Uh, again, let me know what you think. And other than that, uh, you all have yourself a great day.